lightning activity in Harlem. What were you doing at the time? Oh, I was studying. Where? Then I started re uh, on your own or yes, in school? And in school, I had finished school. I started sharp year ten. I had gone to Cuba. Uh, back there, got the uh, master's degree in anthropology and the doctorate in anthropology. And uh, then I'd come back to, to... In other words, because you, excuse me, but because you couldn't get into Colombia, you went to Cuba yeah. to finish your education. Right. Uh -huh. And you studied where in, in Cuba? Un Universidad de Havana, the University of, of Havana. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you stayed there and got your master's, master's. degree. Yeah. And then you came back to Harlem? Uh, not directly. I went back to Puerto Rico and then came back to Harlem. I see. And uh, then I, I became very active in the Harlem scene, uh, in, not in the direct political sense, because I became involved in the African uh, uh, freedom movement, the, the movement of the Krumas, and the, started by Dr. Bain, the Ethiopian World Federation, uh, I, I became, because then I had this uh, background from my father, I had a series of names that when I go to Ethiopia, I knew, I knew my family tree. I knew there were no family tree on my father's side, uh, mm -hmm. but one or two families that they said possibly were, were family, those are La Valley, but really what, we couldn't tie it together. But I knew that if I had reached uh, uh, to Ethiopia, I'd be able to go because I, my father gave me names and be able to go. So when I came here, I, I joined the movements that were dealing with Garveyism, uh, uh, that element of the UNIA that was still remaining. Uh, some men from some men from uh, Antigua, uh, a fellow named Brian from Barbados, uh, and there were were so many uh, here. At the time, uh, you never got to meet uh, Dr. Uh, Marcus. Garvey. I met him in England eventually. L luckily, when I went on to England to do the studies, but uh, I, I met him at Albert Albert Hall. He was giving a lecture there, and then he. Where came was Albert Hall? In England, in, in uh, London, mm -hmm. and then uh, at the in, the Africa House. There was there was then, and I think there still is uh, Africa House, and I met him one day. I, uh, 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 the day I met Garvey was the day I met Heaven. Because in the room was Krumah, uh, Nandi Zukwe, Jomo Kenyatta, Garvey, Nyoromboro, Awawolo. They were having an all-Africa conference of the Africans who were in England at the time. I was a young man. Comparatively, at 68, I was still a young man then. And I was literally sitting at the feet of these giants. And I mean, I was spellbound. I don't think I winked with my eyelid once or breathed more than a light <laughs> moment because I was in a council of the gods <laughs> and had the privilege of seeing all these great men all at once. What kind of a man was Garvey? <laughs> Garvey was... Was he warm or was he icy like Dr. Du Bois, you said? No, uh, Garvey was, Garvey was a fight, uh, uh, I would say, a hot plate for a, a Tukukan. Serious all the time? Serious, vibrant, and when he, sp he had no periods in his speech. He spoke like a machine, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> just like you hear him giving the lecture. That's the way he spoke. He was, he had so much to say in so short a time to say. And then he had had his experience here in jail, people who had deceived him, people who had framed him up and all mm. this kind of thing. People who he expected as his first lieutenant who double-crossed him for little jobs with the federal government and, and all these kinds of things. And then he was there without a family. Uh, and so you see, an uh, an integrity that wasn't going to work for the uh, colonial system, all of these kind of things. So I met him at that point. You could say the rage was deep. Mm -hmm. So I saw the fireball uh, uh, of, of Agave, though dying, you could say, physically, still he was ill. Yeah, he was ill. He was mm -hmm. not himself. Uh, I didn't know him as a young man, of course. But I could see from the Garvey I heard of and the Garvey I met, we could see this was a dying Garvey. Mm -hmm. But still strong, still proud, 
And as I could say, part of my pride about being an African could be attributed to Garvey also. Besides my father, I will say Garvey had a tremendous impact on my pride as an African person.